Hey guys, my name is Julie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a full face of Revolution makeup. Let's get into it. First thing I'll be testing is the XX Revolution Cloud Complexion Soft Touch Primer. I'll be using this as a primer and a moisturizer. Looks quite pillowy and soft. It has a nice flowery smell and my face feels quite smooth and hydrated. For foundation, I have the XX Revolution Liquid Skin Double Fix Foundation. I have it in FX1. And to blend that in, I have the Revolution Advanced Complexion Expert Sponge. Foundation went on really well, but it does dry quickly. It looks quite nice, quite natural. It isn't a thick, heavy foundation. I would say it's probably light to medium coverage. Now it's time for the concealer. I got the matching concealer to the foundation. This one is the XX Revolution Conceal Super Fix Concealer in CX1. Whoa. has quite an interesting applicator. It almost looks like a lipstick applicator. It's quite an angled doe foot rather than a straight one. That was all in one application, so you get quite a lot of product just from one dip. It probably has about a light to medium coverage as well. The powder I am testing is the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Pressed Powder in Warm Ivory. Sorry if all you can hear is purring. My cat decided he wanted to join me. <laughs> oh, and now he's attacking my brushes. I may have forgotten to get a contour. So all I have is bronzer, and the bronzer I'm using is XX Revolution XX Bronze Matte Bronzer in Demo. So that's the shade of the bronzer. It's quite dark, so I might just put the tiniest little bit on very lightly. Tap that off. I was able to blend it out quite nicely on this side, but it did stick in places when I was doing this side of my face. I don't think I powdered properly. So overall, I think it was quite a nice bronzer. For blush, I have the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Matte Blush in Independent. So it's just a half and half matte blush. I'll be using the lighter pink shade. It is quite a nice rosy pink blush and it blended out quite nicely. For highlighter, I have the Revolution Pro Luster Highlighter in White Rose. It is a very pretty highlighter with a rose shape pressed into it. Quite a nice highlighter. It is giving me quite a beautiful rosy pink highlight. I applied two layers of the highlight to get this look. Next up is eyebrows. I have the Makeup Obsession So Fine Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. And I have the XX Revolution Fix Brow Sculpt and Set Gel in Medium Brown. Going to use the pencil first. I really like the brow pencil. It worked really well. The brow gel worked really well, added a bit of color, and it seems to have set my brows nicely. So for eyeshadow, I have the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Palette in Courage. This is what it looks like. So with this eyeshadow palette, I wanted to attempt a sunset eye look. So I have a picture that I'm trying to follow. I'm not sure where it came from because it's from Pinterest. So I don't know the actual makeup artist's name. So I'm going to start off with just a fluffy brush with some pink and just lightly run that through my crease. Oh wow, that's quite pigmented. I'm gonna take this brush now, it's a bit of a fluffier one. I'm going to try and kind of buff that out. Just took that pink and ran it through my crease. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit of this center shade here. I'm going to add the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in White Halo to the rest of my eyelid just to give the eyeshadow a bit of a sticky base. So now that I have a base on my eyes, I'm going to take this dense blending brush and pack on the yellow eyeshadow on the inner corner of my eye and bring it out slightly. 
I don't know if you can tell, but it's come out as quite a orangey yellow as opposed to what it looks like in the pan. So now I'm going to take a smaller dense blending brush and I'm going to take the middle shade, which looks like a red shade. I'm going to try and blend that into the yellow. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of pink to see if I can get the orange to come out of that red eyeshadow. So the red is quite pigmented. I've just been adding a bit of yellow and then a bit of pink on top just to try and get them to blend nicely together. Now I'm just taking a bit of pink and a bit of red at the same time just to try and build up the color a little bit. So next to the red, I'm going to add a tiny bit more of the shade here. So lastly, I'm going to take another dense blending brush and I'm going to pack this maroon shade on the outer corner of my eye. So now I'm just trying to blend the red shade and the maroon shade together. It definitely looks more pigmented on this eye. I think I just left a bit more space for the purple shade as opposed to this eye. So now I'm going to mirror each shade on my lower lash line. So I just finished off both eyes and then I added a little more highlighter on my inner corners and my brow bone. I'm just going to swatch a couple of the shimmer shades for you on my hand and then I'll move on to eyeliner. These two are probably more shimmery than the other two. They're kind of like just a subtle glitter. For eyeliner, I have the Makeup Obsession Mega Flick Waterproof Liquid Liner. It looks to be a felt applicator that comes to quite a fine point. It just gets caught and it keeps dragging across my eye. I got it all over my lashes and then blink and it went all over the eyeshadow. I managed to scratch it off. I'm going to try again. It still kind of drags along my eye, but I managed to draw an okay line. I still got it all over my eyelashes. When it came to do the wing, it was almost perfect. I did it in one go. But I do have it all over my hands. It's very messy. If you do get the eyeliner on your eyelashes, make sure you take it out straight away while it's wet and let it dry. And it's gone very goopy and hard. And me trying to kind of separate my lashes and pull it off is pulling out my eyelashes. Okay, so that was a lot of trial and error. The eyeliner did an amazing wing, but the more I went over where I'd already drawn on the eyeliner, the clumpier it. So not the best eyeliner I've tried but once I was able to get at a better angle so only going from above I hardly got any of it in my eyelashes and it worked quite well so now it's time for mascara I have the revolution wispy lash feather effect mascara it's quite a wide wand and the bristles are plastic and quite spaced out just going to use a lash separator. So this is two coats of the mascara. So it's definitely curled them. I would say it's lengthened them a little bit. Just going to give my lashes a quick curl. For lips, I have a lip crayon and a gloss. The lip crayon is the Revolution Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in TGIF. And the gloss is the Revolution Pout Bomb Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. So the lip crayon looks like this. So I'm just going to outline my lips with the lip crayon and then kind of bring it a little bit further in. That is what the lip gloss applicator looks like. I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. It smells kind of minty and it is stinging slash burning a little bit. So this is the nail shot. Now it's time for setting spray. I'm trying the XX Revolution Hydra Fix Hydrating Fixing Mist. Oh, got it everywhere. The setting spray has a really nice fine mist. So these are my lips after about 10 minutes. It's still kind of tingling slash burning. So for my lashes today, I'm going to test out the Revolution False Lash Glue. And the lashes I'm going to be putting on are the Carla 3D Faux Mink Lashes in Fairy. It is a clear lash glue that is very liquidy, so be careful when you're putting it on your eyelashes. 
So this is the finished makeup look. I have a little visitor. <laughs> The lash glue worked great. I love these lashes. They look amazing. They were super easy to stick on with the lash glue. The product I liked the most would be the brow pencil. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below and tell me which product was your favorite. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What are you doing? No, you don't oh, no, no. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, do not knock anything over. No, no. God damn it. <laughs> not allowed to play with my brushes. Hold on. <laughs> Just ignore the fact that I tried to twist the cap off instead of pulling it off. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, no. <coughs> oh. Piece of it's okay. I didn't just drop the eyeshadow palette on my white bed. That didn't happen. Okay, so I just threw it on my white bed spread. That's great. Love that. Do you want to say hello?